All right. Sean here, Shop Task YYC. Good to be back. Um, I had the pleasure of making a trip out through BC to Vancouver, British Columbia this past week and got a chance to skate with some really fun skaters and some good friends along the way. Uh, I stopped actually in Kamloops, BC, got a chance to meet up with Joey and Todd from Mushroom Blading. Went for a little early morning skate with uh, Joey McGarry. So today's video is going to break down some of Joey M McGarry's skating. So Joey McGarry, um, I've known him for a long time, since I was about 15. So it's going on 20 years since I first met Joey. Met him here in Calgary at a Canadian Aggressive Tour inline skate competition. Got to meet the whole Canloops crew. It was a really cool experience meeting those guys. And then literally a week later, I was doing a family vacation. We traveled through Kamloops and I got to go skating in Kamloops for the first time. It really was a great experience and one um, I'll kind of really treasure for the rest of my life. Great memories in Kamloops. And it was really fun going back and skating with Joey this past weekend. Joey is an amazing skater. So much we can learn from watching his skating. One really cool, interesting thing about Joey is not only does he have an amazing array of techniques, very unique things that he does, but he's a skater that does it totally by feel. He's not somebody that, myself, that breaks down skating into its components, balance, rotation, edging, weight transfer, and these different combinations to achieve these desired results in our skates. He's somebody who's just flowing constantly, learning new things by just playing around on his skates. And it shows in this video that we're going to watch. Now, in this video, Joey is riding on the new Wizard Complete setup They're using the Natural Rocker 100 with um, uh, undercover wheels and then, of course, the skate. So, in my position here, I have one of these new Wizard Completes. At Shop Task, over the next couple of weeks, we're actually going to be offering Wizard demos. You can come into any one of our shop locations, Toronto, Calgary, Seattle, or Vancouver, and you're going to be able to try the Wizards out for yourself. If it's something that you like, we'll be able to place the order online and have it shipped directly to you. But you'll know exactly what you're getting because you've tried them. And not only have you just tried them on in the store and skated around a little bit, you've tried them outside on the pathways at the skate park, through the streets, through the city. So you really know what we're talking about when it comes to that natural rocker um, and this very unique design. So the new Wizard Complete has some upgrades from the previous models. So I'm going to quickly show you that and then we'll get into the video. But I don't want to take too long on here. I will do a complete breakdown of this skate after I've had a chance to play around with it a bit more. But uh, starting at the top down, we're going to look at the new improved Intuition liner. So Intuition um, makes the best ski and snowboard liners available in the market. Leon has worked with Intuition um, to create that first generation Intuition liner, which was most specifically designed to go into an FR skate, although it works in just about every other skate out there. Ah! Okay. Phone call. Shop business. Shop Tash Sean speaking. Hey, how you doing? Oh, amazing. How are you doing? Not too bad, thanks. Do you guys carry roll blade replacement wheels? Yes, we do. Absolutely. And I'm looking for something at 80 millimeter, something that's good for asphalt. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, absolutely. I got some really good stuff for you. Um, if you're skating around outside, it's good to have a wheel that's going to last on those outdoor surfaces. So, um, yeah, and the best thing to do is if you can bring your skates into the shop with you, we'll put the new wheels on so we can pop out the bearings and do all the replacements that we need to do, um, and then you'll be good to go when you leave the shop. And yeah, wheels are by far the most important part of the skate, so it's a definitely a good investment. Oh, you sure could. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, no problem. Yeah, either way is fine. So, um, depending on which ones we go with, it would be 80 to $110. Yeah, the wheels are about, right, so this is a wheel that's going to last you for, you know, this season and next season and like years to come possibly, of course, depending on how much you skate, but it's going to be like a good long lasting wheel that's going to perform really well, but also last a long time. They don't come with bearings for that price, so bearings would be, um, depending again on which ones we go with, would be 40 to $80. So um, if you bring your skates with you, we can check out your bearings and make sure that they're all good to go. If you just need one or two um, bearings, I have some that we'll put in for no cost. It's no problem at all. Um, if you need like a full replacement, then I can show you what we got there. But um, yeah, unfortunately, they don't include bearings with the new wheels. Open into six, that's correct. 
We're in Kensington, so we're between Memorial Drive and Kensington Road on 10A. So, perfect. Yeah, yeah. Um, there's parking on the street right in front. Yeah, yeah, if you can bring them down. I was just going to say for parking, it can be a little bit tricky. Um, there's like street parking all through Kensington. It's metered. Um, down by the Hillhurst Community Church. Does that sound familiar at all? So a couple blocks down, there's free parking all along there. So um, that's a good place to park, but um, it won't take us long to do it. So if you find a spot, you can plug the meter for half an hour and we'll have you good to go. Okay. You're very welcome. Thank you. Bye now. Yes, new wheels. Very important. Most important part of your skates, really. Old crappy skates with new wheels, going to be awesome. You could have this new wizard skate here with uh, some sort of crappy old wheels. It's not going to be so good. Wheels are super important. Okay. The new Intuition Liners. The old one for the FR, this one, uh, FR, good in almost every other skate, but this one is specifically designed for the SX skate. Modifications are a few things, but the main ones are going to be this toe area here. The old one had thinner foam around the toe. This one has thinner foam around the toe and then around the side here. So the SX skate has a very narrow toe box. This is going to give your toes a little bit more room. The tongue has been moved back. In the FR, the shell opens all the way up in this area so the tongue could be further down. In the SX, it's going to be covered to here. So let's grab the SX so you can see what I'm talking about. Right? We want the tongue to start here where the laces are. There. Right? We don't want the tongue starting here. Cause a pressure point. So this new liner takes care of those things. The new SX boot. Um, doesn't need to be gutted out, so the old foam doesn't need to be removed. It comes from the factory just like this. Tilt the camera down, hopefully we can see. Oh, I gotta find an angle where we got some light. Oh, I gotta face it. Jeez, the camera's backwards, so I'm always confused. Uh, <laughs> take my word for it. Nice and smooth all through the inside of the liner. So there's no exposed carbon or nothing that you might get from having to actually gut out the skates. The stitching is all black. Uh, more durable rubber um, like material that wraps around the toe here, right? We're always touching our toes down. This can wear through. It's a plastic cap under there, so it's not the end of the world if you wear through it. But um, this is going to be a more durable surface. The uh, updates to the wizard frame is there's um, uh, kind of more precise machinery that we're using to um, uh, cut out these frames. So it results in just a little smoother finish. You can see that the deckling is a little bit different than on the old ones. We'll talk about all these in the other videos. And then the frame now has had some anodizing. So it still looks like a raw aluminum frame. So we're still maintaining that really cool look that the original wizard frame had. But it's just a little bit smoother now. Looks great. Comes standard with a high quality Seba 100 millimeter wheel with uh, twin cam rust proof bearings. So let's watch Joey on these skates, really shredding it up. Now with Joey, the things we're going to watch for are his strong inside edge. We don't see a whole, whole bunch of it in here, but there's some stuff that we're going to see. Really strong inside edge, which I really admire. I'm always stuck on my outside edges, so I really admire that on the skater. As well as his ability to counter-rotate. Um, maybe more familiar to you, known as like a shifty. If you come from an aggressive skating background, the idea of that our lower body rotates one way, our upper body the other way. And most often, we're half turning to one side and then bringing it back to forward. And Joey does this in just a masterful way that we'll see a bunch in his um, video here. So I'll shrink myself down and let's get into it. So Joey starts us off with a little soul grind. Now we're going to spend a little time watching this first clip. What Joey is performing here is a parallel slide, but not finishing backwards like you would most traditionally. He finishes it forward. He's a master at that shift, you remember. So he does this about as anyone as I've, good as anyone I've ever seen. He's going to slide parallel, keeping his body facing the direction that he's traveling, where his feet are completely sideways, and then bringing it back to forward. And he maintains amazing contact with the ground the whole way through. So it's not like he's like, slide, urge, and then bring it to forward. It's all one smooth motion, which comes from his amazing ability to counter-rotate. So here, actually, let's back up just a touch. We see some interesting things here. Okay, so he's approaching into a slide. We talked about Joey's inside edge uh, quite a bit. So we talked about his inside edge. So Joey initiates this power, or this parallel slide, 
with more weight actually on this foot here. Um, fairly common, right? Um, everyone's going to favor one side over the other, but he does a really good job of feeling his way through the maneuver. More pressure here, creating this foot to slide, and then transferring his weight here. Okay, and now we can really see it. Bring my face back again. Um, we see here that we would be expecting that this uh, right foot here would have the heel firmly down, right? When we're doing these slides, there's gonna be more weight through the heels. Any forward turns or slides initiated from going forward, the weight's gonna be more in our heels. And actually his heel is off the ground here, which you wouldn't expect to see, but because he has that amazing strong inside edge, that's how he flows into this maneuver. Now here, we can see that his um, body is turning the direction of his feet, so he's turning to his left as his toes are kind of pointing to his left. But watch what happens here in a second. Now, his upper body is almost totally open to the direction of the travel. So they're traveling towards us, the viewer. But look at his feet. His feet are actually um, more than perpendicular to the direction of his upper body. They're almost pointing behind him. So it's like really dramatic the way. And then watch how he finishes this, keeping good contact. Um, to that strong counter rotation, that shifty position. Wow, now his toes are almost pointed backwards and his chest is even twisted. His chest is twisted even more forward. So look at this strong counter rotation. This is a beautiful technique. And then to forward. Wow, I wish he would slow mode that whole thing through. Let's just watch one more time. Beautiful slide. And then look at this. He's not Anyway, hopping or being unweighted as he brings it back to forward, he's maintaining amazing contact as he snaps those feet forward. So it's that counter rotation, feet are pointing this way, his chest is this way, and he's able to bring it back to forward. Just amazing technique. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Cool. So let's talk about these little bumps. So Joey um, is also a master at this maneuver, bumping off these curbs, like running into a curb and using it as a jump. Normally you can't just run your feet into a curb like this and expect to launch over top of it. But because Joey, again, learns through feel, he has an amazing feel on his skates, this is a total feel move. What he's doing is, as he's approaching these bumps, he's almost jumping, unweighting his feet, but still maintaining contact with the ground in a way that he can ride up the bump. He's got the big wheel, so they're gonna go over bumps really good, right, that diameter, right? If his wheel is big diameter here, it's not gonna get stuck, and if he's unweighted, it will ride up it. And so he creates that unweighted feel, and then as he's about to jump, his feet jam into the curb and causes him to jump. So let's just watch those two clips again really quick and uh, you'll see a bit more what I mean. So we'll pause it here as he approaches. So yeah, he's riding up this curb. So his heels are on the ground. He's not jumping into it. He's riding into this bump and popping off it. Really cool. And a great shot from backwards. This type of move, um, it's probably actually maybe Eat more easily done going backwards because of the direction our knees and ankles bend. Um, we can lean more on our toes as the momentum of going backwards just because our knees are bending and the flexion of our ankle. So you can put more weight on your toes to kind of create that ride up. Uh, certainly not easy going forwards or backwards, but Joey McGarry is the man. Wow, watching these clips over and over again. So here, um, in this next clip, we see that shifty position, that counter rotation, where he's turning 180, but his feet are facing one way as he's opening his chest and upper body to the direction of travel. So he's shifty this way and bringing his feet back. So it creates a really neat maneuver. So he's jumping, dragging his toes along the side of the curb and then bringing it back to forward. Again, a master control with that counter rotation. There it is, beautiful.
Awesome. Okay. Talk again about Joey's amazing inside edge. So here he is doing, um, I think what we'd call this would be a fast slide on aggressive skates when you're sliding on the inside edge down a rail on your front foot like this, we would call that a fast slide. So this would be similar to a fast slide. And what Joey's doing here is you can see the power he's putting in. He's driving right through his hip, through his knee, through his foot. The heel of his foot is putting amazing pressure, causing this slide to happen. And then what he's doing is he's balancing his forward momentum the forward, if you're following my mouse, the forward momentum of his body with the friction that's caused as his wheels slide around the ground. So it's a true balancing act between the momentum and speed of his body and this friction here, being able to balance it all on one foot. And again, he's turning forward, amazing. Okay. These little wall rides. We're going to see lots of Joey riding on the sides of walls. Now, this is difficult. Wall rides are a tricky move. Normally, what we're going to expect, let's turn the camera to the wall, we're going to expect when we're doing a wall ride that our foot is going to be here, perpendicular to the plane of the wall. Here's my wall, skate is perpendicular, right? That's going to allow us to ride on here. But what happens is, you can't put any weight with your wheels in this position. Your body is here and your feet are gonna roll away and your body's gonna kind of fall off. You can't really ride it um, so well in that position. But if you have big wheels, what's gonna happen is you can actually ride along the wall on an angle, right? Your boot's not gonna to touch down. You have lots of wheel to grip and you're actually gonna be able to push down into the wall as you ride across and what happens is a lot of the time is it's going to travel up and give you a really satisfying ride. So this technique really truly is exclusive to um, a wizard setup or some sort of big wheel aggressive-ish setup. So yeah, we can see right here, if you're following my mouse, look at this angle, right? He's not perpendicular, right? He's cutting an angle and it's still riding on there. Look at how well those wheels are gripping onto the wall. Again, he's riding right up, bring my face back, he's riding right up along it, right, not easy to do, but the big wheels help a lot, he's able to like actually push down as he's riding up, so he's able to balance his weight, putting it on here, and in this maneuver in particular, which I really like, you can see if we're following the plane of his body, his skates are off to his right side, and he rides up it, and then for major style points, he brings his feet over to his left side with a really solid, what we would call a mute grab. Here. Boom! And look at the look at the intensity of that grab. He is fully grabbing onto it. We call this a mute grab. Um, name comes from surfing or skateboarding. But the idea is that he's grabbing. Uh, his far foot across his shins here. So his left foot is grabbing his right foot across, tucking it off to the side. So remember his feet were off to his right, now they're off to his left. And then he does a really good solid landing here too. Boom! Look at how low his butt is on that landing. Now, yeah, let's talk about landings really quick. One thing I really admire in skaters is smooth forward landings. Um, Generally, when you're watching trick skaters, they land better going backwards. And the reason being, again, the flexion of your ankle and the bend of your knee and that backwards momentum allows you to like kind of, you're allowed to compress and get low without your wheels or feet slipping out from underneath you. What happens a lot is when you're getting your butt this low, the tendency is for these feet to shoot out in front of you. It makes for a hard landing. Um, in the Greg Mirazon video, we saw that Greg did a great job of landing inside edges into kind of a swizzle pattern. Joey's landing here outside edges, so makes for a really cool technique. Generally speaking, it's always better to be landing on an inside or outside ledge um, when you're doing a jump. It's a better way to absorb and cushion the landing. So excellent job by Joey here. Again, riding up this time into a macchio grind along the ledge. That shifty position, right? 
he's turning his feet sideways as he's traveling forward and then bringing his feet back to forward. Really nice. This is a great one again of that wall ride. I'm going to move it back a little bit. So in this one, what we see Joey doing is um, the curb is on his left side, so he's riding up on it with his right foot. So his far leg is actually the one that's going to be riding up this wall. Um, and then he's able to actually push off this wall, because again, that angle, right? You can push down on the wall with these big wheels. He's able to push off it, get a jump, um, and kick his foot out in front into what we call a Liu Kang grab. Boom! There's the Liu Kang. Wonderful. Excellent. Now, this is just a beautiful trick here. This is one that, this is probably my favorite part here, is just this, how nice and drifty is on this slide up and over this hump. So this would be kind of what we call like a drop-in ramp. So you would roll in off this to get speed, um, assuming there's a jump kind of on the far side there. Um, but what Joey's doing is riding it and sliding down. Check out his body position. Again, he shifts it out to forward. You can see his shoulders are open to the direction he's facing as his feet are turned sideways. Woo! So it's almost like he's falling down and just riding his feet along. Really cool. Whee! Beautiful. Mute grab again. Beautiful solid forward landing. Cool. This 540 is worth a second look. Let's talk about it really quick. Now, um, when you're grabbing your feet as you're rotating, you can grab your feet in a million different ways. What Joey does that makes it look really good is he's rotating to his right as he's grabbing his feet to the left. So he's bringing his feet up the opposite direction that he's spinning. So it kind of slows down the spin, makes it for a more dramatic maneuver. Let's watch the 540 again. So here's that 540. So he's well into the spin at this point. Watch his turning to his right. Watch him bring his feet up to his left. Here they are. Oh, that was like a stale Japan grab. Very nice. Again, that wall ride. We would call this a med spin. Here he is proving you can slide on those big wheels. Now, if you're an experienced skater, uh, and maybe you're an aggressive skater, there's nothing more fun than cruising a park on these big wheels. All right, that was the video. Amazing. So, there you go. I'm a huge fan of mushroom blading. Joey McGarry, Todd, the whole mushroom blading crew, they do amazing production, so please watch their videos. Mushroomblading.com. Mushroom blading on YouTube. Mushroom blading on Vimeo. Mushroom blading Instagram. Mushroom blading on Twitter, I'm sure. Uh, and mushroom blading for sure on Facebook. So check out everything they have to offer. He's got some tutorial videos on there too, kind of explaining some of his really cool moves. So check those out. There's a lot to learn from watching Joey McGarry skate. Thank you so much for watching. Namaste. It's a beautiful day. Let's go skate. Peace.